you listen and you use these digital tools to listen in a way that you couldn't before in real time and at scale. And then the second thing is you share content and you share your stories that will inspire action. Again, using these tools that, that your customers and members and that your employees are already using so they can connect with them and, and change that relationship. And the third thing is you engage. You actually go in and use these digital tools to have a two-way dialogue in a way that just wasn't possible uh, if you were sitting at your, your desk. The consequences of not being an engaged digital leader is that there's this whole segment of the population, especially uh, people who are younger, who are active in these places where you never hear from. It's almost as if somebody was knocking on your door or calling you on the phone, but they're digitally trying to engage with you and you're refusing to listen to them. And I think in this day and age, you have to at least listen. Even if you choose not to share and engage, you have to listen at least, because if people are talking, you want to be there and hearing from them. A good starting point for somebody who may not feel as comfortable using these digital tools is to just listen. Because again, we were born with two ears and one mouth. So being a good listener uh, is the foundation for being a leader because that allows you to get closer to what your members are saying and doing, to understand what your employees are saying and doing. And so listen to what is already out there. Uh, ask your team to uh, work with maybe somebody else who is comfortable with this to understand how you can listen to the people most important to you and your leadership agenda.